how to save Periscope comments while you're live. Let's take a look at the software that I've been using. I love it. Okay, so if you've ever used Periscope as a broadcaster, this is a major, major point of frustration. When you are live on Periscope, the comments come in and then they go away extremely quickly and it's hard to deliver value and it's hard to get engagement um, when they're here and then gone, right? So I found a, uh, a Chrome plugin that I want to share with you and show you how, to, how it works uh, that will actually save all of your Periscope comments while you're live so you can answer them when you're ready. So if I'm delivering content, this is one of the things that we teach at Live Streaming Pros is how to deliver this content and how to get engagement and, and when to, to use that engagement through your broadcast. So this is a really, really powerful tool. So let's take a look. It's called Broadcaster Pro and this is a Chrome plugin. So this Plugin is absolutely only available on Chrome and only available on your desktop. So if you're going live on Periscope, you would want to pull up your uh, desktop browser, Chrome, um, to, to, to use this. So you would kind of need to be at home or at least at a place where you could access your laptop, okay? So this is a, a broadcaster Pro and it's free and so what you do is when it's when you haven't added it it'll say add to Chrome um, add the extension right so you would click that and then what you'll notice is it's actually popping up right here this little blue box is Broadcaster Pro so once that's installed in Chrome uh, what we're gonna do then is go live so once you have it installed then you can go live from your your phone or from uh, our live stream HD 51 box, you know, the, a desktop, whatever, however you're going live uh, to Periscope. Um, and then what you'll do is when you are live, you go to Periscope um, and I'm going to go to, yeah, actually I'm, oops, sorry, that's the wrong one. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's try that again. We're going to go to Periscope.tv. And when you are live, you'll see that you're live, right? And all you wanna do is make sure that this is blue. So if you have it gray, it's not active. But when you click it on blue, then you'll notice you can click on that live stream and it will, I have it on another browser, so maybe it's, so it'll look like this. Um, maybe it's getting confused because I have too many open. <laughs> So uh, then you can actually see all of your comments. I'm going to scroll back through all of the comments that we have had during this live stream where we're broadcast, where we're uh, using this demo. So you can see that you can actually access them. They're large on the screen, which I love because I know how many people comment about how hard it is to see comments on your mobile phone when they're super tiny, right? So I love this plugin and it is truly that simple. Now, a couple of things that you need to know is uh, if you are watching another broadcast on Periscope on your desktop, you do want to deactivate that bro Broadcaster Pro plugin um, while you're watching something else. Otherwise, it gets confused. It thinks it's supposed to be displaying something. Um, but while you're live and you're trying to access your own comments, then this is the way to do it. You can actually see also uh, the number of people active, uh, and then you can also see the all-time hearts, uh, how many you've gotten this scope. Thank you guys, you guys are awesome. You're uh, 3,800 3, hearts, give me more. <laughs> I love my hearts. Um, and so you can you can see all of that information, um, you know, on the go while you're live. And um, it's a, just a really simple tool. And once you're done, it, don't close that browser window if you want to scroll back through them. You wanna make sure that you look at everything you wanted to look at, 
before you close that out. Otherwise, you won't be able to access it in that view again. Now, Periscope, of course, will allow you to watch the comment replay on the replay video, um, but it's kind of not the same, right? You can't access it and you can't control it. So that is Broadcaster Pro. Uh, there is a link to download that um, and to get that extension in the show notes. Leave a comment and let me know what you think or if you're using it, send me a link to your broadcasts. I love to see how other people are using live streaming as well. And of course, we are live every weekday at 10 a.m. Pacific at periscope.tv slash LSPHQ. And we would love to have you participate in the conversation. I'm Laurie Petrucci. Bye.